Hello friends, it's Miss Anna from the Council Bluffs Public Library and I would like to welcome you to Storytime Anytime. Today, we are going to talk about one of my very favorite things and it's very delicious. Would you like to know what it is? It's pie. I love pie. Do you like pie? Yep, I like apple pie and cherry pie and chocolate pie. I just really like all the pie. <laughs> Now, usually a pie is baked in a pan that looks like this one, right? But I also have another kind of pie pan with me today. How about this? Have you ever seen a pie pan that looked like this one? It's a really huge pie pan. Do you know what kind of pie we are going to bake with this pie pan? We are going to bake a pizza pie. A pizza can be a pie, right? Well, let's think about the way that pizza and pie are the same. They're both round like circles, aren't they? And when we cut them to eat them, we usually cut them into triangle pieces, don't we? So I think that's enough. I think a pizza can be a pie, don't you? Would you like to bake a pizza with me? If you want to bake a pizza, clap your hands. Did you clap? If you want to bake a pizza, clap your hands. If you like bubbly cheese, then say pizza, please. Pizza, please. If you want to bake a pizza, clap your hands. Now listen here, friends. Through the magic of story time, I already have all of the ingredients that we need to bake a pizza right here on my board. Just look at them all. What shape are all of these? Yeah, everything we need to make our pizza is shaped like a circle, isn't it? Do you know what kind of pizza we can make with all these circles? You might have guessed a pepperoni pizza, but do you know what I like to call a pepperoni pizza? A polka dot pizza. Yeah, and I have a very special oven that we can use to bake our polka dot pizza today. It's called a magic pizza oven. And do you know what the secret ingredient is? It's magic, right? Yeah, so would you like to bake a polka dot pizza with me? Mm-mm, can you rub your belly just like this? Mm-mm, polka dot pizza is my favorite food. Mm-mm. I'd eat it for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner, if I could. Mmm, mmm, polka dot pizza with ooey gooey cheese. Mmm, mmm, let's make some polka dot pizza, please. Should we do it? Okay, so let's talk about the different ingredients that we will need to make our polka dot pizza. We are going to need a pizza pan, aren't we? Yep, we need a pizza pan. So I'm gonna take the pan and I'm going to put our pizza pan inside of the magic pizza oven. Now, what do we need to put on the pizza pan? We need the pizza dough, right? And it's right here. When you bake the pizza dough, that's what turns in to your crust. This pizza dough looks a little bit like a moon, but I promise it's a piece of pizza dough. <laughs> We're gonna put it right in here. Now, what would you put on top of your pizza dough? We need something red. It's the pizza sauce, right? And it's made from tomatoes. That's what gives it a red color. And then we need something very, very important. Do you know what it is? We need the ooey the gooey, the mozzarella cheese, right? Yep, we need all this cheese to go into our magic pizza oven. And last but not least, we are going to need our polka dots, aren't we? We need the pepperonis to make our polka dot pizza. So while we put our pepperonis in the magic pizza oven, can you count them with me? We have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten pepperonis for our polka dot pizza. Now I'm going to close up our magic pizza oven and this is where I need your help. Do you know any magic words that you think we could use to bake the pizza inside this oven? We want to do it really quickly, not like in a regular oven, so we'll need some really strong magic. So think for a minute about a magic word. How about I'm going to shake the magic pizza oven and can you say hocus pocus? Say it with me, friends. Hocus pocus. And how about abra cadabra? Abra cadabra. And I think I need one more. All right, can you wiggle your fingers at the magic pizza oven? Wiggle your fingers and say, Ella Kazam! Do it with me now, friends. Ella Kazam! All right, should we see if it worked? Let's see. Oh my goodness, my friends. You cannot believe how delicious the pizza that you helped me make looks. It looks so good. Look at that! We made a polka dot pizza together. We had all of our ingredients, we had a magic oven, and we had the magic that you made. And look, we put all those pieces into our magic oven. We gave the magic to the oven and it turned in to the pizza. You are very powerful, my friends. I would like to thank you so much for helping me make this incredibly delicious polka dot pizza. Can you say, mmm, mmm, with me? Mmm, mmm, polka dot pizza. Well, friends, we have just enjoyed a delicious pizza pie, haven't we? But I'm still hungry. Are you still hungry? I think we probably need some dessert pie, don't you think? Yeah, and I have a whole bunch of different flavors of dessert pie for us to talk about today. But first I wanted to show you that I brought my ukulele with me today. Can you say that word? It's kind of a fun word to say, ukulele. Now my ukulele has one, two, three, four different strings. And if you listen, they all make a different sound, don't they? But I also can play them together and I can change the sounds that I make with my other hand. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use the ukulele to play a song about pie today. And grown-ups, I challenge you to try and recognize this song. I don't think it will be too hard. <laughs> All right, so I have got a slice of what color pie with me It's a slice of red pie, isn't it? Can you think of any fruits that you could use to make a red pie? There are a couple of different choices. I think that we should make a cherry pie today. Would you like to make a cherry pie with me? Yeah, that sounds very, very delicious, doesn't it? It's my cherry pie. Red slice of happy, such a sweet surprise. Tastes so good, makes me go yum, yum, sweet cherry pie. Oh yeah. And that's the part that I need your help with at home, okay? Every time that I finish singing about our pie, I need you to say, oh yeah, because we're really excited about the pie, right? And also because the song is a little bit rock and roll and we want to be a little bit rock and roll too, right? <laughs> All right, let's talk about another slice of pie. I have what color pie? That is an orange pie, isn't it? And that orange pie has what looks to be some very delicious whipped cream on the top of it, doesn't it? What kind of pie would be the color orange? Here's a clue. A lot of people eat it around Thanksgiving time. Do you know what kind of pie that is? 
It's a pumpkin pie, isn't it? An orange pumpkin pie. It's my pumpkin pie. Orange slice of happy, such a sweet surprise. Tastes so good, makes me go yum, yum. Sweet pumpkin pie, oh yeah. Mmm, pumpkin pie. What other kinds of pie do you like to eat? How about a pie that is the color what color is this pie? It's a blue pie, isn't it? What kind of fruit would you use to make a blue pie? It's a blueberry pie, isn't it? Should we sing about it? I think we probably should. It's my blueberry pie. Blue slice of happy, such a sweet surprise. Tastes so good, makes me go yum, yum. Sweet blueberry pie, oh yeah. Yummy, right? We have so many more yummy pies to talk about. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, this is a very bright pie. What color is that pie? That pie is green, isn't it? And this one's a little bit tricky. This is not a very common type of pie. That means that we don't see it all the time. It's just like an every once in a while kind of pie. Can you think of a green fruit that would make a green pie? It's a hard one. This is a lime pie. We actually call it a key lime pie. <laughs> and so let's sing about our green key lime pie. It's my key lime pie. Green slice of happy, such a sweet surprise. Tastes so good, makes me go yum, yum. Sweet key lime pie, oh yeah. Yum, yum. I have got another color pie. What color is this one? It's a yellow pie, isn't it? Now, just like our cherry pie, there might be a couple of different possibilities for a yellow pie. Can you think of some yellow fruits? You might have said banana, but I'm actually going to make this a lemon pie. A lemon is a little bit like our lime. It's a little bit sour like our lime, but it's yellow instead of green, right? It's my lemon pie. Yellow slice of happy, such a sweet surprise. Tastes so good, makes me go yum, yum. Sweet lemon pie, oh yeah. Lemon pie, yum, yum. I have one more pie for us to look at today. And this pie is what color, friends? It's a brown pie, isn't it? And it's got some whipped cream on top too. Now, can you think of a fruit that would make a brown pie? I cannot think of any brown fruits. But you know what I can think of that's brown? Chocolate. Do you like chocolate pie? I love chocolate pie. Should we sing about it? Yeah. It's my chocolate pie. Brown slice of happy, such a sweet surprise. Tastes so good, makes me go yum, yum. Sweet chocolate pie, oh yeah. I almost forgot what flavor pie we were on, didn't I? That is pretty silly. Now, we have how many slices of pie? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six slices of pie on our board, don't we? And do you know what I have to say to that? I scream, you scream, we all scream for pie. Give me all the pie, oh yeah. Are you gonna eat all the pie? No, that would be so much pie to eat. It would make your tummy hurt. Oh, it would make my tummy hurt. If I had to choose just one slice of pie from this board, I think I would choose the chocolate pie. Which kind of pie would you choose? You can turn and tell your grown up now. I bet you chose a very delicious kind of pie. <laughs> All right, my friends, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed baking a pizza pie with me and learning about all the different colors and flavors that we can make for dessert pies. 
I will see you next time, friends. Have a great day.